call Teresa a perfume hunter. After years of working in the spa and beauty industry, she decided to catch the dot-com wave and opened a virtual perfume store. Since then, she has traveled the world searching for unique scents. Right behind me we have Carthusia that comes from a monastery in the island of Capri. It's still handmade. Her boutique in Southern California carries some of these rare finds, such as a perfume containing precious stones. We have a really amazing perfume from a London jeweler. She commissioned this perfume and it's called Stoned. So you kind of get the play on words, but she's a jeweler and it has actual diamond dust in it. And a very practical, solid perfume. <laughs> they come in a compact and they're like a, in a wax base and you apply them and they really warm up on the skin and they're very beautiful. This variety of unique scents attracts customers like actress Kate Hudson, who do their shopping online. With 10 years of experience in this business, Teresa has learned to identify different types of perfume consumers. There's people who wear the same scent for 15 years. You know when they walk in the room, it's their personal scent. And there's other people um, who base the scent on their mood. Like, what do you want to project to the world today? Like, I feel like a hippie chick today. I want to try this. I want to uh, reflect that I'm very serious. I want to wear this. It depends on the mood. I'm going to the beach today, I'm going shopping, I have a meeting. No matter which type you are, here are some helpful hints from the expert. Be gentle with those signature scents during the hot season. Those people who use their signature scent tend to use it all year round, but I would suggest that they use it a little less generously in the spring and summer, and in the fall and winter they could use it a little more heavily. Be adventurous. Experiment with different scents. There are scents that correspond with the seasons. The spring, people want to something fresh and clean, a light florals. The summer, people are looking to be refreshed. Citruses, aromatic, zesty fragrances. In the fall, they tend to want to warm up something a little cozier. Musk and amber, sandalwood, and then the winter, the woods and the spices come into play. Avoid wearing perfume under the sun. That actually can be dangerous because there's uh, citrus oils can cause photosensitivity in the skin and you can get dark marks. So it's best to rely on a nice scented tanning oil <laughs> and skip the perfume for the beach because you're just going to wash your expensive perfume in the ocean anyway. <laughs>